The crankshaft position sensor is located on the top left of the bell housing. We have this fender we got to remove to get to it. I use a 13 millimeter deep socket to pull that stud off. And uh, I like to use a wobble with a short extension on it to get to this one right there. And then also just that 13 mil to get to pull that bolt off there. And then we'll remove the fender. Fender off. Help to turn the steering wheel just to get some more room in there. But our crankshaft position sensor is located right here. Right there. And so to test it, set this light up here. Put the connector on. What you do just by squeezing, there's a tab up here. Squeeze that, pull it out. Is your connector. So to test the circuit in the sensor, pull the connector off, turn your key on, and then you'll probably need some back probing um, terminals or something on your multimeter to fit in there, but touch one of the leads inside to one of the terminals, and then touch the other lead of your multimeter to a good ground, and you should get around two and a half volts. And if that's good, and that circuit's good, then you go to the other pin, and you should get around two and a half volts as well. Uh, if the, the voltage is different than that, then your circuit's faulty. If not, if that's good, then you'll want to uh, put your meter on resistance, and test the res on ohms, and test the resistance in the sensor, and you should get between 616 ohms to 1275 ohms. Um, and that would indicate a good sensor. If you're still getting faults, remove the sensor and then check to see if the tip or anything's broken in it. Um, it might be easier to remove the sensor anyway just to test the pins. Uh, sometimes they stick in there, but uh, let's see if we get lucky on this one. It should be at eight millimeter. We'll pull it out, see how it looks. So I got the sensor out. The worst part of this job is removing these sensors because they're, they could break easily and it really suck if they broke off in the housing. Um, but the worst part is this o-ring right here and how it gets caught up on the uh, bell housing because of the rust lip. So what I do is uh, work it around in the housing and just spray all kinds of penetrant in there. Keep working it, spraying penetrant. I use like half a can of the Crown uh, KP53 penetrant and just keep working it, working it, and then uh, when you go to pull it off, I use uh, two screwdrivers and just kind of pry back and forth and up and pop it out. So I got the sensor off. This is how you would do the ohm test on it. Um, just grab your meter so to measure resistance. Take your leads. And you touch the one lead on one pin and the other lead on the other pin. It's easier to do this with two hands. And then this this one's obviously open, uh, so it's a bad sensor. But uh, yeah, that's how you test that sensor. And then put your new one in and you're good to go.